Okay. All the way in the back, there's a guy with hair, graying hair and a mustache. There you go, that's you. Thank you, Governor, it's an honor. My name is Al Brown and I'm a school superintendent in Camden County, Stratford School District. First off, I wanna say that we very much appreciate the fact that we actually saw an increase in state aid this year, very much appreciated. My question has to do with the uh, state Supreme Court and the fact that we may be revisiting the Abbott decision and if that uh, ultimately could result in additional money, the only place it can come from in my mind is from the suburban districts uh, to 30 uh, urban districts. And I'm just curious if you have a plan as to how we're gonna deal with that, that really serious issue that affects towns like Hamilton and the suburban districts throughout New Jersey. Yep, well, okay, Supreme Court's got the case now. This is Abbott versus Burke 21. Abbott versus Burke version 21. This is this line of cases, not Abbott versus Burke 21, because I don't know what they're going to do yet on Abbott versus Burke 21. But Abbott versus Burke 1 through 20 is an example of exactly what I was talking about during the campaign in 2009 as to why we need to change the Supreme Court. We do not any longer need a Supreme Court where those people who are not elected by anyone and are not elected to be making laws are making laws from the bench. And that's what they're doing. They're directing how money is supposed to be spent by the people that you elect to make those decisions, the legislature and the governor. Let me give you an example. Just since 1988, now Abbott versus Burke and Robinson versus Cahill, the case before that started in 1977. But let's just go from 1988 forward, in the last 22 years. The taxpayers of the state of New Jersey, through their income tax, have sent $68.2 billion to the Abbott districts. The percentage of state aid that the Abbott districts received in 1988 was 36%. The amount they receive today is 59%. The enrollment of Abbott students has gone down during that period of time. The percentage of students who lived in those Abbott districts in 1988, or actually 1990, 23%, today 20%. So money has gone up from 36% of the money to 59% of the money, while enrollment has gone down from 23% of the state enrollment to 20% of the state enrollment. And here's the last one. The average state aid to a student in Abbott District today is $16,138 per student. The average amount of state aid to a student in a non-Abbott District, which means the 550 other districts, the average amount, remember, Abbott, 16,138. Non-Abbott, $2,895. All that being said, the Abbott districts are a failure, academically. In Asbury Park, we spend $33,000 per pupil per year, and less than 50% of the children are proficient in eighth grade math. In Newark, we spend $24,000 per pupil per year, and less than 50% of the students graduate from high school. And of those who graduate from high school, of the ones that move on to a community college, 95% of them need at least one year of remedial classwork to qualify to take a college class. So it means their high school diploma, when they got it, was worthless. Worthless. And what the judge decided last week was, the problem is we're not spending enough money. We need to spend another $1.6 billion. Now listen, I don't know what's gonna happen in the case, and, and, and I feel like common sense says when you make, like we did, last year we lost a billion dollars in federal aid to education. So as a result, we cut aid to education to school districts by 820 million, which means we put 180 million 
of new money, state money in, but still cut $820 million, as you know, to school districts all across the state. We did it in a way to try to have the least amount of impact on the Abbott districts because we didn't want to wind up in court. We wound up in court anyway. And so now they're going to decide. They're going to decide whether or not they want to order $1.6 billion of additional spending. And you're right. You know, the problem is that we got no money. And I think the decision we all have to make is, can the Supreme Court of New Jersey order us to raise taxes? Can they order us to cut spending in all the other areas in order to fulfill this $1.6 billion? You know, I have to tell you, I don't have a contingency plan yet because I can't imagine what a contingency plan is going to look like. And you'll have Democrats across the state who will say, well, raise the millionaire's tax, right? It's the first thing you're going to hear. And that sounds good to people because you say, well, I'm not a millionaire, so why not? It's going to be somebody else's. Well, remember this. The last time we had the millionaire's tax, 50% of the filers in 2009 were small businesses. 50% were small businesses. So you want small businesses to create jobs, to get people back to work? Not if you're going to raise their tax rates. That money's going to go to the government. And even if we raise the millionaire's tax, it would raise $600 million. Where's the next billion coming from? I'll tell you where it's coming from. Maybe we have to eliminate aid to all hospitals in New Jersey. I wonder how many hospitals will close when we have to do that. Maybe we have to eliminate, as I'm looking at the mayor of Cheslehurst, Maybe we'll have to eliminate all municipal aid. Okay? You know what will happen to your property taxes then? I mean, I have to tell you, I've said this before, this is crazy. It's crazy that when you have a system where the judge admitted in his decision that we spend as much or more on K-12 education than any state in America. And he said... Our students are getting further and further from proficiency. Okay, so the solution is spend more money. I and mean, I always thought that the definition of insanity was doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Since 1988, we have raised the Abbott districts from 36% of aid or $802 million dollars to 59% of aid, or $4.5 billion. $4.5 billion for 31 school districts. 59% of all the state aid we send. So you put your finger on the defining issue of the affordability of New Jersey. Because the downstream effect, of course, on the other districts that only get 41% of that aid, is that the only way for them to continue to spend more money is to raise property taxes. That's it. So imagine if you're a suburban taxpayer, you're getting your income taxes increased to pay for the Abbott districts, and you're getting your property tax increased to pay for the Abbott districts, and worse yet, those kids aren't learning. I, I don't know. I'm a pretty simple guy. And I'm not a genius, but this is crazy. And so we're going to fight in the Supreme Court on behalf of the taxpayer. We're going to say, listen, we can't print money in New Jersey. We're not the federal government. We've got so much money. This is what we're spending it on, and that's it. And we're going to see what the court says. Is the court going to say that, you know, they operate in a vacuum and they're going to order what they're going to order? Or are they going to take into consideration the reality of the economic circumstance we're in and the reality of these numbers? I don't know. I don't know. But here's the thing. Being governor of New Jersey, there are enough problems every day that you don't start fixing the problems that haven't happened yet until they happen. So if that happens, I'll have to make some decisions. But I think what you've seen over the last 15 months is I don't have any problem making decisions. So we'll make a decision, we'll make a decision that I hope is in the best interest of the majority of the people in this state. I hope that everybody else involved in this situation keeps that in mind as well. So thanks for your question.